Hey folks, Buster, welcome back, another Palm Mass video, and uh, we're gonna go over in this video the star of the next update, which is uh, Ryan Drilled on the uh, newest Poke Fair over here, right? I mean, our app icon even changed to Ryan, so <laughs> hard to argue that he's not the star here. But, anyways, um, again, uh, as you know, shout outs to um, Absolutely for the info um, and the graphic by uh, Lost Mode. <laughs> All right. Um, anyways, you know my fault they wrote their names vertically. <laughs> anyways, um, shouts. Alright, cool. Um, let's get into Raihan. So Raihan is a steel type Pokefair striker, right? Um, and, and that's, that's cool, I guess. Um, is, is the font too small? Should I, should I, uh, get into this a bit? Looks a bit small. Oh my god, now, now it looks weird. Alright, I don't know. Uh, Twitter's weird uh you know what i could open this in a new tab maybe that'll help oh yes i do think this helps all right all right let's go over it well you can't see the real head now so sad day for drilled on all right cool so um again uh like i mentioned before in the last video we since we are having um or we are getting level 135 level caps the numbers people might it might take you a while to get used to them but they are obviously going to be higher so uh, let's let's go over then. So theme skills: Steel Strike, Galar Strike, Gym Leader Strike, Gadgeteer Strike, and a Passionate Spirit Strike. All right. Then um, the stats at 135, we got 779 HP, which is a lot of HP. All right, that's a lot of HP. Um, not just for a striker, for like any unit, that's a lot of HP. What uh, or th uh, 380 attack, 134 defense, 108 special. Okay, so this guy has like no defenses, um, basically. Uh, but a lot of HP, right? That's where it comes. I, the, the recoil units generally have this thing where they like just get a bunch of HP and like no defenses. So it's it's I, I guess it's uh, in tune with a lot of all the other um yeah um y you know uh, recoil units. Then you got uh three ninety special attack, which is again a lot, right? And then you have one seventy two speed, which is terrible. <laughs> That's really really bad. Um, anyways. Moving on to the moves, you got Steel Beam, which is a 4-gauge move, which 4-gauge move, 172 speed. Not a good uh, not a good combo there, unfortunately. Right? Um, Steel Beam, 199 to 238 base power. Right? 95 accuracy, single target, does have a recoil. The user takes damage equal to half of its maximum HP. Damage taken. Uh, uh, the, the damage taken even if the uh, attack fails. Wow, even if it fails, okay, that's kind of cringe, um, since 95% accuracy. Uh, but yeah, Steel Beam, very, very, very powerful move in terms of damage-wise. It does have a really, really big recoil, but don't worry. Uh, Raihan has like a billion ways to deal with the, that recoil, and by a billion, I mean like two. Um, but very, very effective ones, right? Then you got Dragon Pulse, which is Dragon Pulse, right? No additional effects, 100 to 120 uh, base power, Dragon Special, 100% accuracy. Then I got Rock Slide, um... 105 to 126 base power, 9% accuracy, AOE, 30% uh, chance of flinching the opponent. Uh, then you got the training move called Top This, which is only has one use, uh, uses on yourself. Sharply raises, uses crit, applies super effective up, next effect to the user. Um, makes the user gradually heal itself, lowers user's special defense. Oh my god, this guy's gonna have like no special defense. <laughs> wow, alright, you do a guard heal, so that's nice. Um, and a lot of HP. I mean, uh, it shouldn't be that big of an initial defensively. I mean, eh, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, uh, the sync move, um, just a regular, you know, storm, cloud, steel beam, just a regular striker, non mega sync move, right? Nothing too special there. Uh, steel special. So it is a steel special striker. Our first, uh, gosh, steel, you know, special striker, right? The only other one's like Egg Magnazone, which is not very great. Um, so as for the passive, you got Standfast 9, so you don't really have to really worry about the recoil because you have Standfast 9, you're basically going to take no recoil. It's like, what, 5% or something, right? It's, it's not a big deal. Not a big deal at all, right? Plus, again, you do have gradual heals, so you will be healing more than the recoil you take from Steel Beam, so you basically no recoil, right? Then you got Ferocious Entry 4, it gives you plus 4 um, uh, attack and special attack. When you enter the bow, which is nice, then you got head start one, which is useless, um, and in most case scenarios. So yeah, you get what 
plus two crit, plus four attack, special attack. So you are missing plus two attack, special attack, and plus one, um, plus one, which we'll call it, uh, crit, right? So there's that. Uh, but yeah, pretty, pretty powerful base kit, right? Comes out on 28th, which is in a few days, two days, in fact. Um, so yeah, again, pretty, pretty powerful base kit, I'd say. Mm, got three different type coverages. Obviously, dragon, no one really cares because there's so much better pure dragons. Um, but you do have definitely, you know, rock type and, and steel type coverage, right? Um, so moving on to the sync grid, let's check out the, uh, the sync grid over here as I fly myself to the other side of the screen. So I don't block the, uh, the text because it'd be kind of weird if I block the text, right? Um, all right, let's go over this stuff. So sync grid, stats, 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 stats. Steel beam power up, steel beam accuracy ups. Um, move gauge refresh three for steel beam. Thankfully, not move gauge refresh two because we've been getting a lot of move gauge refresh two this last month. Uh, more steel beam power ups. Recoil removal, which takes away recoil damage completely. Which again, I mean, it is only six energy. So like, if it's if it's in a good route, right? I'd say it's a good pickup. But if it's like in like some really weird space, where um it like costs you a lot of energy to get to and it's far away from like all the other stuff that you want then i'd probably just skip it honestly because again like you have like um you stand fast nine already and then you have gradually it's like i don't really think it's pretty cool who cares right um grand entry two sharply read special attack when you enter the battle so that could max out your special uh, special attack so you only need crit pops but then again it does cost you 12 energy right i'd rather invest that into more damage and just bring a unit you know, that could buffer uh, crit and special deck since we need a buffer crit anyways just bring in like a sabrina bring in a sing suit lisa or whatever right you just top that off uh sand shelter fence uh, or, or protects you in a sandstorm rock slide power ups rock slide accuracy ups um rock slide move gives you fresh three sands of time three sand blaster five and surging sand three here's the thing honestly it, again, it does have, like, the sand stuff, but honestly, he might not be that great in sand. Um, I've been thinking, like, maybe, because, like, I mean, the sand stuff, it's only, what, extra 50% on sync move and 30% on, on your uh, regular moves. I don't think it's worth it to run him in sand at all. I think it's much better just to run, like, a secondary striker with him. Secondary steel type striker instead, or rock type if you're doing rock type damage, right? Like a Gloria, which is a great secondary striker, right? Um, so like, yeah, I mean, running Gloria with Raihan plus a support is going to be much, much, much better than running like Raihan a support and like Palisand. Just Palisand is just not, you know, um, damage wise. I mean, it, it's it's just a fact that you will be getting more damage if you run him outside of Sandstorm than run him, running him inside Sandstorm, right? Um, so I guess you could ignore the sand stuff unless you really just want to do a sand thing with him, which is, I mean, you could still do, but it's just, again, it's better to run him outside of sand than it is in sand, it seems. Um, it does help with speed, which is nice. But then again, you know, if you're running Gloria, Gloria has so many other ways to deal with speed stuff, right? And if you run like a single blue for like regen, you should be fine. Um, moving on, Dragon Pulse power ups. Move get refresh from Dragon Pulse. Stoic two. Thirty percent ch chance at plus one defense. Dragon Pulse. Oh, another wow. Two Dragon uh, Pulse move get refresh three. So that's nice. Uh, more Dragon Pul Pulse power ups. Tough cookie. Uh, more defense has been raised. More powers up moves. Yeah, this is seeming. Yeah, this looks like it's gonna be very, very, very good with a, a Sing Tzu Blue and, and Gloria team comp, because uh, with Gloria, well, first of all, you get the you know, Galar's theme skill, and then more, more importantly, you get the Steel Striker uh, theme skill. That, you know, on top of the gear, that's going to give you extra 100-something attack. Yeah, that's de it's definitely better than running it in Sand. And then, yeah, again, Sing Tzu Blue gives you uh, move gauge acceleration, um, and then gives you defense, right, for Tough Cookie. Yeah, that's definitely the better multiplier here. Focus Rush 1 raises crit by 1 after using Sync move. I mean, uh, yeah, that doesn't matter. <laughs> um, unflappable, friends here from flinching, burst in. Yeah, these aren't, no one cares. Um, MP refresh two on your chain to move. You could go for it. I don't really have much else to go for, but 
Uh, entry freebie, applies free move next when you enter the battle. I mean, that would be nice since, again, he is pretty slow. That would, I mean, if it's if it's in a good path, then it could be a good pickup, right? A lot of Raihan's grid really just depends on, like, where these nodes are, which I don't think we have info on yet um in terms of like mapping it i mean i mean i'm not gonna go like one cell like one by one and fit them in there and that's because <laughs> i'm just gonna wait till the secret helper gets updated supreme entry plus super effective up uh next pack when the user enters the battle storm cloud i mean i don't think this is gonna be really great because like you're getting that with your train move anyways and you probably want to use your train move for your attack so if you get this you're just wasting one of them right so this is kind of pointless and then sync move power-ups all right, so Raihan, he looks good. Um, I wouldn't say he looks fantastic in terms of, you know, poke fair strikers, right? Uh, but he definitely looks good. Um, you know, right. Um, again, really high BP steel beam. Um, I haven't fact checked this, but uh, according to, I think, Roll pal, right? His damage should be around like ends, which is again very, very nice. Um, also slow zone, but <laughs> uh, well, at least like end does have like a lot of like freebie stuff, so that helps over there in comparison. Um, but yeah, he looks to be pretty nice, looks to be pretty nice. Um, he's definitely gonna be the you know the highest yeah, DPS for steel types, right? Because like the other steel types. They're not, none of them are like really for DPS, right? Metagross is powerful because he has, you know, flinch and, and regen, right? Um, and the defense is then in glory is powerful because it goes very, very, very fast, right? None of them are really known for their DPS. So we do have a really, you know, slow but big DPS unit over here with um, Raihan. So that's nice, I guess, right? Um, so yeah, anyways, uh, looking good, looking good. Uh, so yeah, anyways, uh, again, that's me for this one. I guess. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, let me guys, uh, let me go. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I messed up my outro. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Like, enjoy this video. So, we're going to some more about massive content. We're going to be going over, I think, let's go over silver next, right? See how the uh, silver expand synchronous. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.